I'm Barry Vaudrin and my world revolves around the cruise industry. Hundreds of cruise ships worldwide offer adventure, romance, amazing port cities and excursions, fine dining, incredible entertainment, and finally, a host of talented crew members and fascinating passengers. Welcome to my world. Welcome to Cruising with Barry. Barry here with Cruising Authority. Well, I'm producing a series of videos about my favorite cruises. I get asked all the time, having been on over 300 cruises, what is my favorite cruise? Well, I've got several. So uh, on this one, I'm going to be talking to you about my number two favorite cruise. It's actually a cruise tour with Viking River Cruises. Uh, and I cruised on the Yangtze River in China, and I want to tell you about it. It was an incredible experience. Our first city was in Beijing, and we were put up in a great hotel, and the very first tour that we did the next day was of the Forbidden City. Wow, what an incredible place that was. Uh, it was just outside of Tiananmen Square, and we entered the building, and there, there seemed to be uh, blockade after blockade, uh, door after door, just to get into the place. I mean, it was just, it was really quite astounding. It was built in 1420, so it's been standing for many hundreds of years. And um, it, was, it was something I've always wanted to see. And sure enough, it was a huge, huge fascination to see the Forbidden City. And uh, the next tour that we did, now this is an epic journey that if you go to China, you have to see this, and that is the Great Wall of China. Of course, um, walking on the Great Wall of China was an incredible experience. Um, I, I, one of the things that I, I didn't expect to see was that in the um, bricks on the on the uh, Great Wall of China, many of them had graffiti that was hundreds and hundreds of years old. So it was really interesting. But we went up the more difficult climb on the Great Wall so that we could get the best uh, photos of the area. And um, I, I was blown away. I mean, it was an incredible experience. Uh, anybody that goes to China, you have to see the Great Wall of China, of course. And then from our hotel, they took us to um, another place in Beijing where we had a fine dinner um, where we had Peking duck. And this is apparently where Peking duck first uh, was first served. In fact, uh, many dignitaries, including Nixon, when he went to China, um, he ate Peking duck in this exact same restaurant. And then after uh, our dinner, we saw an incredible show. And it was just, it was really amazing. The, the singing and the costumes, it was so colorful. Uh, it was something that I will remember for a long time. Now, Viking River Cruises, they have a lot of tours in, a, in addition to the cruise part. And I'll get to the cruise part in a little bit. But we uh, went to a city called Xi'an. And in Xi'an, we went and saw something that just completely blew my mind. I mean, it was the, the most amazing museum I have ever seen in my life. And it was being able to see the Terracotta Army. Now, in the early 70s, a farmer was digging in his, in his um, field and he came across one of these terracotta warriors. It's basically a, a, a full-size, life-size clay um, statue of a uh, warrior from China from 2,000 years ago. And the warriors uh, were all lined up and ready to fight. There were thousands and thousands of these terracotta army uh, soldiers that were recreated and every single one of them was different. Um, but this was the most amazing museum I have ever been to. It was just breathtaking. 
and then, of course, when we got back to our hotel in Xi'an still, um, we went and saw the Tang Dynasty musical. Um, this show was amazing. Not only was the singing amazing, but they had a great story about the Tiger King, uh, Monkey King. Um, they had colorful costumes and acrobats, and it really, it really was a first-class show um, that, I, that I'll never forget. Uh, one of the great things that Viking River Cruises does is they assign a group of passengers with a tour guide. And our guide, his name was Daniel, and he had us wearing these um, headphones uh, with a box that was around our neck. Um, and it uh, was called a Vox. And it, was, it allowed us to hear him through this uh, wireless device. And so if we strayed away, like I did quite often taking pictures, um, we could always hear his voice, and he was always telling us all the intricate details about the places that we were visiting. Um, another place that we visited, which uh, was really amazing, and now I understand where the, the term flying carpet or magic carpet came from, and it was this particular factory where they build and they manufacture these magic carpets. And this is an example of why these are called magic carpets. Check this out. Oh, oh my God. So brilliant, right? Why? Because it's made of different kinds of materials. Mm -hmm. because it's neat. Next, we flew into Chongqing, which is where we boarded the Viking Century Sun. Now, Viking River Cruises um, it has these great ships, and one of them is called the Viking Century Sun, and it's on the Yangtze River. And we went on a five-day cruise on the Viking Century Sun that took us to some great places. One of them was a 400-year-old pagoda that was uh, awe-inspiring. Uh, I got to walk around that the whole area, I climb up in different areas. Uh, I went up some ladders into compartments and, and took a lot of pictures. Uh, there was one area where they had this bridge where if you could cross the bridge in three steps or less, you would get good luck. Well, I didn't need good luck, but I was able to do it, I think, in two steps. Um, but this, uh, this amazing um, pagoda... Uh, was being preserved um, with a huge uh, concrete wall around it because the Yangtze River um, was uh, going to be flooding that area. And so they had to build this huge concrete wall so that the pagoda would be saved from the flooding. Uh, and the, the flooding occurred because of the Three Gorges Dam which is the largest dam in the world. This Three Gorges Dam, I mean, it, again, everything they do in China it really is amazing. Um, that seems to be a, a word that I used quite a bit of when we were in China, is amazing. But yes, the Three Gorges Dam is the largest dam in the world. And it took, I don't know, like 20 years to build or something like that. And it was really quite amazing to see it in action and to see it work. Uh, also, the Viking Century Sun, our cruise vessel with Viking River Cruises, went through the locks um, in the Three Gorges Dam. It, it, it's a lock system, kind of like the Panama Canal, where you go in and the lock raises you up or lowers you down so that you're um, closer to the uh, water level in the body of water that you're going to. So, yeah, that was an incredible experience seeing this uh, Three Gorges Dam. Finally, we uh, ended our cruise tour on the Viking Century Sun in Wuhan, China. And when we stepped off of our uh, cruise boat for the last time, uh, we were taken by bus to this museum. And one of the most incredible items in this museum that caught my eye was this... Um, it was a musical instrument that was over 2,000 years old. And what they did was they created a replica of this 2,000-year-old instrument, which basically was a number of bells that you would hit with a hammer, 
that had different tones. And uh, they gave us a little concert to, ex to show us how this uh, instrument worked. And then we were able to see the actual um, instrument that they recovered. Uh, not, I think it was, I don't know when they recovered it, but anyways, it was um, in a tomb that had been buried for 2,000 years. And they were able to clean it up and it looked incredible, like it was just made yesterday. After Wuhan, we went to Shanghai, which was our final and last uh, city that we visited. And we, they put us up, of course, in a great hotel. And we walked along the Bund, which is along the river, a walkway along the river. We saw old Shanghai and new Shanghai. Um, so it was really quite an industrial city. That's one thing that I can say about China, is that it is a very industrious uh, country. I mean, everywhere you look, there was things being constructed, huge high rises, freeways, trains. Um, it was, it was really an industrial society. It, it was completely different than what I was expecting. Um, and then we flew home. And now I want to recommend Viking River Cruises. Uh, they have expanded. They're all over the world. They're all over Europe. Um, so you can cruise on the rivers. Uh, of Europe and on a Viking River cruise, but they've expanded now to ocean cruises. Um, and that's one of the cruises that I want to get on one of these days. I hope to to uh, produce some content aboard one of those uh, cruise, ocean cruise ships that Viking River or Viking Ocean Cruises has to offer. So that's it for this episode. This was my second favorite cruise tour experience. Uh, with Viking River Cruises.